Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Day 5 here in Norway. Trying a new mark again. Uh, it's called Stew Point. Lovely little mark. Pretty much flat on the rocks. Uh, trying for anything today. Uh, there's the varieties of species here. Likes of Darp, Place, Haddock, Cod, Pollock. Uh, Coley, so apparently you can get them all here, but I'm after a place on uh, one rod and then anything on the other. Both of the rods got a fresh, freshly dug uh, ragworm on, right inside it has pulley panel, downsides the hooks today to four row. Uh, see if that works better. Uh, if you go too big, then you won't be able to get uh, some of the species because the haddock has very really small mouth for the size. So does the flatfish. So back home, uh, I some of the flounders I've caught that well uh, on four rows, but you best go in uh, small hooks than uh, big hooks. So left hand side got a um, flapper rigs on for the place. See if we can get some fish out. Uh, fish in the flood is flooding still, isn't it, Craig? Yeah, yeah Mark. Fish in the last bit of the flood and uh, we'll fish it probably to darkness, go back to the digs, get some uh, food down. Also, the plan is to do fill it all the fish we caught last night and then do a nice fish by. Uh, Craig is the chef tonight. Um, yeah, uh, pretty mild day for Norway. I don't know, it could be minus minus one or two, minus one this morning. So, hard day in the wind. It's trying to snow, but not much of a snow at the moment. Rods are out, bait in the water. We got a chance, everyone. So, stay tuned. Adam to my left. We'll get a. Uh, I'll get most of the actions on the camera for everyone's fish and that. See what we can get. First fish goes to Ricky. First cast. Literally took it out. He reckon it could be a flatty. Hopefully it's not a uh, false bite. Could be a weed fish or. Is it kicking? Uh, not much. Not much. Oh, stuck. There's a loads of, loads of weed on that in front of us there. Be careful, these are pretty slippery, mate. Oh! Dab. Yeah. Nice dab. Well done, bud. First cast. Into a dab already. On the wishbone rig. Yeah, wishbone. Ah, nice juice. Nice Lovely. Just Look. straight rug. Yeah, straight rug. It's only out there like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, two minutes. <laughs> no messing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're into the fish, guys. First cast. So, look promising. We got the ideal conditions today. Overcast, trying to snow. Um, it's been really hard going, say the least, here in the daytime. Uh, we've been having better luck in the night. But uh, we'll give this give this mark a go uh, when it's ideal like this, and then we'll be fishing somewhere else this evening after tea. So stay tuned, everyone. Hopefully, it's a bit busy busy session today here. There we go. Lovely size haddock. It's been really hard going here. We've been here a couple of hours, maybe three hours coming up for three hours. Hard any bite and then uh, Craig pulls out, pulls out of the bag again. Nice chunky one. Nice, nice chunky one as well. Um, what was it? Six years, six years today, wasn't it? Yeah, we had six a years today. Here. Since we're here again, yeah. Yeah, had exactly the <laughs> same date. So. 2017. 2017. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Keeping our release. I'll let this one go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let this one go. Eh? We've got loads of place, haven't we? Yeah. Be careful though. 
Just let watch it sit on that. Yeah. Another slow session in the daylight guys here. Um, we've been here nearly three hours. Ricky had a small dab. Um, William just had a decent sized dab. Me yeah, another Mont Blanc. I've uh, great managed that uh, haddock. That's about it. But at the moment we got we, we got cut off by the time so we're in time to go down a little bit till we can walk back to the car. So if we get anything else, we'll get back to this. If not, it'll be have to be this video will link into the next session which will be this evening hopefully back up uh, tonight's tide the time running out now we were meant to be going to Hollywood but we fished it right out tonight last night till like 4 o'clock I think coming up to 4 o'clock in the morning so I had a bit of lying and uh, decided to come here just wanted to catch a nice monster place uh, more than anything else really but um, I think Hollywood session in the cars tomorrow two hour drive down north yeah um, if you get anything else get back to this if not uh, see you this evening tide there we go another fish for Craig but I had to reel it in because he was far away from his rod nice little cod in on the blue bait well done, bud. <laughs> well done to me for it in. Well, Get it released yeah. and sent it back. <laughs> Craig, straight into the fish. Huh? What's up, bud? You okay? It's a f***ing lump. Oh, lifting or snacked? Hey. Just... He's running. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, oh yeah, we got the net. Right, I didn't even <laughs> set my rods up. Uh, Craig sent a bully and a rock worm out straight into a fish, and it's a big one. Oh, it's a lump, mate. I think it's snug, mate. Yeah, but. Uh, feel the kicking. Feel the kicking? Yeah. Let a line then. Let a line out. Oh. Let's see if we can get it up, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna give it two minutes, see if it just... Well, I'll get back to you in a bit, guys. Let's get this fish out, but it's harder to snack. Oh, no, no. No, it's gonna snap right Welcome back, everyone. Uh, back out on the Scanson that uh, landing, uh, just next to the bridge again. Craig landed the first codlin, literally the first cast. I didn't even, uh, uh, didn't have the rod set up yet. Got two rods out already. We went to, uh, where did we go? What was it called again? The landed. No, one before it was taken. Uh, Sea point. Sea point? Oh, slipway, yeah. Not far from uh, Stew Point actually. Went there, but the mark was taken already, so we could have still fished, but the tides ripped there very fast. So, end up coming to landing now, uh, fishing over low water again. Uh, nearly low water now, about 45 minutes low. And I uh, fished a couple of hours after low water. See how we get on. We had our tea. Fish for the Two drums, uh, cod and haddock with garlic bread that went down the way well. set up, uh, set us up right uh, for the night. Uh, the snow belting down, I'm not sure if you can pick it up. Very calm evening and warm. Um, so, we're after that big fish again. 
fishing two rods, both of them got a pulley panel, uh, both got six row, big base on. Uh, one has a pulley worm there, rock worm wrap, and the other one's a squid and black. See if you can get a monster out of here like we did last night on the day four series, uh, episode. It's just me, Adam, and uh, Craig fishing the landing. Other lads stay there at the digs, they fishing the pier. So if they do well there, we're gonna move over there. That's the plan, and I'm getting the bite maybe. We can't hardly see with this snow. Left hand side rod got a little tuck, little pull down. See if that comes back. Anyway, see if you can get any fish out on the camera for you guys. It's been very hard going in the day. I blanked on the first mark. Uh, it was, what was this, two point, yeah. Uh, not for about 10 15 minutes drive from the digs. Um, Craig did all right, uh, the Pollock and not Pollock, uh, had the kind of cod in out. Me and Adam blanked, and uh, the other last just got a flattish dabs. Anyway, stay tuned, everyone. Hopefully, get into some fish. There you go, mate. Fish on, everyone. Fish on. First gas. Yeah. Get in. Not a bad fish. Can't see anything. <laughs> you got the net? Net's over by Craig, mate. Kicking well. Should be here now. Can you see a collar of them? Uh, ooh. I think you... Oh, I thought you had a double then. Looks like a nice codlin. Do you need a net? Um, yeah, we'll do, I think. No, I think you'll be able to hand line that one up, mate. Would it lift it? Ooh, a bit heavy. Do you want me to hand line it, bud? A great bud. Oh, it's on the trees now. It's not big, but it's too big for the, yeah, for the rod. Nice little cod in there, guys. There we go, first cast codling. Probably two, two and a half, no, two and a half hour mark. Get it unhooked and get it sent back. I'm not keeping any fish tonight, I don't think. It's been a nightmare, flitting them all. Even though I've not done any flitting yet. <laughs> Thanks to Adam and Craig, he didn't pay them the flitting for taking it home. But get this unhooked, hopefully. Get some monsters tonight. On. Fish on, everyone. Craig's into the fish, his third one of the evening. Somebody. Yeah. Weather turned it a bit. Uh, been howling a little bit. But not picking it on the camera. Funny little one. Can you winch it up? Fish yeah, not a bad going, bud. No. Not a bad going at all. I was complaining the other night because I was casting into this uh, light there, the reflection of the lights off the bridge. Saying if fish won't feed there, I would keep getting spider crabs and starfish. I thought I want to fish the dark side. 
I had one out for his art of fishing me again. <laughs> so, release that one back. Oh, head first, straight, straight down. Nice one, Mud. Yeah, wind, wind picked up a bit now. And, uh, Looks like a snow forecast till 2 in the morning. I um, keep getting pull downs on the left hand side road. I've got a bit of slack on there. It's messy. Truck set. We got two more full days of fishing here. If all goes to plan, Halibut time tomorrow. Um, we don't want to regret it. Come all the way to Norway and not target Halibut properly. We've been onto the marks where Halibut, possible of catching a Halibut there, but um, we didn't really target them properly. So tomorrow. The road trip to north, two hour drive, two hour back. We'll have a good breakfast, get all the butties sorted and that, get all the drinks and that, head off. Hopefully, I want to at least get a run. <laughs> if you catch run, that would be fantastic. What's up, bud? Yeah. As you can see, everything covered now. Anyway, uh, stay tuned, everyone. Hopefully, another night with the monsters. Very happy with my PB cut last night. If you have, if you have missed it, it will be video before this. And uh, we weighed 11 pound too. Still not a monster for Norway standards, but. Still a decent fish. Come on, something definitely playing with that lot. Anyway, uh, I'll get back here see if that turns into a fish. Yep, 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 got them. Nice pull down. That's a nice pull down. You yeah. filming? Anyway, get back to you if that turns into a nice monster. Fish on and the birth nest on too. <laughs> still on there, are they? What? Yes, still yes, on. Still on. Come on, lad. Get that first fish off today. It's been very hard going for us. Any day. Ah, oh, drop dead. What? Oh, oh. I haven't much luck today. That was a good run. Oh, got it. Try again. Right, other one again. <laughs> Take two. And I was getting bite. Struck it. Missed it. Oh, not a bad bend actually. Yeah, yeah. Kicking well. Come on. Oh, it's putting up a fight. Yeah. Hopefully a nice haddock. This is on the ragworm as well. Was it, yeah? Oh, proper kicking, look at that. Yeah, nice. Oh, they have the same. Yeah. Can't see much because oh, of the snow. Oh, nice cut, that. 
Oh. oh, is it haddock? Nice haddock, no, but nice. nice. Cod. Oh, cod. Nice cod, that. Yeah, he's, he's net boy. He's net boy. I'm a camera boy. Let's get it landed. Not a bad one. Not a bad one, mate. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, probably four, four or five pound mark. You guys can, probably can't see. I'm not sure if you can pick it up now. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Back, 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 back. That way, that way, that way. To, to the left. Let me let it uh, Which way, Craig? That left. Way. Oh, a bit more, Adam. A bit more, to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right, yeah, see him in, see in, see him in, see him, keep going, keep going, keep going, you're in, you're in, yeah, you're in. Now, uh, there's a little bit of ledge there, it catches as a unetic. Oh, I need to bring it over there somehow. Swing it. Oh, swing it. Nice one. Oh, hard work that. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish, mate. Well, sort of swallowed that rack as well. Yeah, took it right deep. That's good See for both on our plant. Yeah, took you right in. Lovely. In good day. Well done, I don't first fish off today. Get in. There right, let's get organised. And uh, I could do a bit of bait change. Still using the first first bait out there. First cast still on my left hand side rod. That's been getting a sample. So best check them out and then get a fresh bait out while the fish is there. Fish on everyone. It's not a monster, but it's in a good account in itself now. Kicking very well. Uh, yeah, haddock. Haddock. No, I reach it in this. Bring it up, bud. Keep going. Keep going. Swing it over, swing it over. There we go. Get nice in. haddock, huh? Lovely haddock. Lovely lug bait in there. We're going to... We're gonna rock them. Tangsi Creek, you said where to cast. Uh, there's a ledge, ledge to the left and goes deep. Fish swim through with the tide. Come on, straighten up. There you go, fins up and everything. Lovely attic. Probably three pound mark. Right, get it unhooked. And uh, I think we keep this one. Uh, because we don't really get much attic where we are. So, uh, wouldn't mind taking some fillers home. So, uh, hopefully, get bigger, there, guys. Uh, stay tuned. My turn. Well, quick update, everyone. Well, as you can see, snow belting down, covering everything. And then, what we've been finding the rod getting, getting frozen, fro rod froze, and uh, hard to get it out. All the wheels, everything covered. Wind blowing, the snow just blowing right in our face now. So far, I've got a cod and a cod bin and a haddock. Craig had a couple of codlin, and uh, Adam had the best fish of the evening so far. Bite Adam on the left. I thought it was left. 
no one. left. <laughs> That's a close one, isn't it? Anyway, uh, Adam might be into a fish. Let's see if anything there. Had a nice couple of pull downs. Is there, yeah? Anyway, we're gonna give uh, another 45 minutes here. This uh, tide's flooding in about an hour after low. Uh, usually go slow here, uh, a couple of hours after. And then we're gonna head to uh, in front of the digs on the pier again. But I, but, but I had my uh, double figure cut. We got plenty of base left. So I might as well use them fish out again tonight, have a little lie-in and a head north target some other but that's the plan that uh, wind and snow feel a bit cold now hands a bit numbed but we're in Norway aren't we so can't argue just loving every minute of this trip so far I know we haven't caught months and months of fish, but it's been a really good experience. Uh, not a bad experience, not a bad uh, trip uh, for first time being here. Uh, hopefully, we got um, we got two more full days of fishing. There's still uh, any chance for a monster. So stay tuned, everyone. If I don't get back to you, so. Uh, I will uh, see you on the pier again. Right, back out on the pier in front of the digs now. Um, William and Ricky have been fishing here and then they've done alright, they caught a few fish. And uh, as we landed, they had a um, railroad mouth uh, dogfish, I think they are. Something like that anyway. And uh, they had a black mouth, dog, black mouth as well. So first cast in, Adam to my left again. Uh, conditions improved as well, which is good. I think where we were, wind was, uh, wind was facing us here, uh, wind pretty much behind us now. So not too bad. This is the exact spot where I'm, uh, where I've caught my double figure last night. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully beat that tonight. Uh, tide flooding in um, about four hours before high water. Now we're gonna fish it to high, maybe see how, how long we can we can do. But um, we'll just fish it out. See if we can get any more fish, guys. So stay tuned. Hopefully get back. Here's the first cast. Anything, any fish really, any kind. <laughs> Adam to them back here. First cast. Getting a nice bite on that there. Still pulling? Yeah, not then. One more pull. Yep. No. no. Missed. Tough one up there. No. Just gonna leave that there then. Leave that there. <laughs> Just got a full, uh, not half a bluey out, left hand side rod, and uh, 
frog and the black book wrap on the right. But I'm going to change that in a minute. And, uh, get a squid and block out that bay got me the PB last night from here. Exact spot. So I'll send that one out. What time is it? Yeah, we've got three, uh, three hours of high water. Usually switches on now. He's been fishing steadily. The last been catching. So, hopefully get that double figure. Any of us really. 20 pound would be even nicer. <laughs> Not asking much, just one. So, fingers crossed. Conditions better. It's just snowing. That's how I'm uh, filming for this channel as well. If you haven't subscribed, go check him out. He'll be doing the Norway series himself. So we got, I've got nearly five hours of filming to edit. Or you would have seen the first ones anyway, by now. Anyway, better save my uh, memory card for, for the fish. Say she never won. Hopefully get some fish. Right, uh, another hard day of uh, fishing here. Plunk uh, uh, this morning, not this afternoon, uh, this afternoon at uh, Newmark, uh, Stewart Point, and uh, went to London. Managed to catch a couple of fish there. Had a kind of codlin. Uh, came back to the dicks uh, since Ricky said he lost a massive one uh, they've seen it but they couldn't land it and uh, this this mark been fishing well uh, last couple of nights so we decided to come and uh, do a bit fishing here but um, unfortunately it didn't pay off yet um, coming up to high tide now the bait's been out in the, in the water probably four to five minutes didn't have a sniff got a nice drug worm and a look worm out there for hadukan cod but not happening this side of the pier anyway um, William been doing all right on the other side but nothing to shout about about three four pound mark uh, cods and callies but um, that's my uh, last bait going out now. Just tried it with every other combination to get on the fish here. Got a uh, half a bluey and a couple of nice kink rack, rag worm wrapped together on the pulley panel rig. So I'll get this one out. If I get anything, I'll get back to you. If not, that would be the, probably the last uh, last cast of the day five here in Norway. And um, we're gonna head back and get a few hours sleep. Head down down the north to our drive. So it's gonna be a long marathon tomorrow. It's gonna be. A, Fishing hard for 12 hours, fishing the day, fishing to the darkness for three hours. See if we can uh, at least get a run, maybe, of a halibut. It's not the perfect time to target halibut, I believe. They're more active in the summer, late summer, September, October time. But uh, there are out there. See if we can uh, hook into one. Right, guys, let's uh, send this one out. Hopefully, get a uh, last cast, uh, anything really. And a beat of blank on this mark. <laughs> yeah, um, 
been very hard going. Um, you come to Norway and expect loads of fish, but it's not. It's like pretty much same back home. You have to put the hours in and then find the shore fish, uh, for bait fish, herrings, and stuff like that. So when the herrings are in and uh, you seem to hit the fish, when they're not, they're moving about with the bait fish. So we've been hopping around with the mark on the marks, different marks, but we couldn't find them yet. But hopefully, we find them down north tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, <laughs> today. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the day six.